All right, we're going to remove a battery from a new one wheel XR. Some tools you're going to need, quarter Allen, one eighth Allen, small flathead of some sort, and a Phillips screwdriver. First thing we're gonna do is remove the front pad. All right, once you lift up your pad, you're gonna see a few connectors in here. You're gonna take off the one that's connected to the pad, obviously, loosen the back part of that connector, and then the front part of the connector, you're gonna hear it click. Pull it out evenly, smoothly. All right, next we're gonna remove the bumper on the front. You got two bolts here. Flip it over. And you got four bolts on the bottom. Now our front bumper will just slide off. This will give you access to the plug that you need to take apart, which is this one right here. You're gonna take your Phillips and your small flathead. We're gonna pop the safety clip out. And then with the Phillips, you're gonna hold in the black clip and you're gonna take your flathead very gently and you're gonna pry that plug off, going back and forth until it's off enough where you can take it off by hand. Once that's done, take your quarter, loosen up the axle bolts, just a little. We don't need much. We're gonna go back to our Phillips. We got four, four uh, Phillips screws we're gonna take off. Two on the rails. These are clips that hold in the battery wire. And then two here that hold the battery wire onto the motor. Let's come out like so. All right, now that that is all done, we're gonna to go to the back of the board. We're gonna remove all six of these bolts for the bumper. All right, flip her over. Finish taking off the rear pad. We're gonna remove these two bolts here to take off the rear bumper.
bumper will come right off. Flip it back over one more time. And we're gonna remove the exciting warranty void if removed stickers. Once you remove these, your battery assembly will be somewhat loose in the rails. All right, once that's done, we're going to remove the battery cable without damaging it. And it should just come right off now that your axle bolts are loose. Once you have that in place, your battery will just slide right out of the rails. <laughs> 